Hey, y'all, and thank y'all for tuning in. Now, if this your first time, welcome. Now, if you've been here before, welcome back. Y'all, I am excited. That's because we're about to run down the chocolate lovers brownie cream pie, y'all. Now, this treat any of us can make at home, and it is phenomenal. Y'all ready? We're going to start with the standard chocolate pudding mix. You can get at any grocery store, y'all. Now, the pudding mix calls for three cups of milk, y'all. But we use two and one quarter cup of milk because we have a secret agent. That secret agent is two thirds cup of heavy cream. I added that heavy cream in first, phased it in there, and then we phase the milk in. When you put that heavy cream in there, it's gonna thicken up. It's gonna discourage you a little bit, but keep on whisking and phase in your milk. Phase it in, y'all. If you put it in too fast, y'all, it's gonna splash all over your bowl. So phase it in, take your time. And if you have a mixer, just use your mixer. It's all good, you know, but everybody don't have a mixer. So I'm just gonna use my whisk right here, okay? Now I wanna ask y'all one question. What's your favorite dessert? What dessert is your go-to dessert? What dessert do you like the most? Or what dessert do you like to fix the most? Drop a comment, let me know. Because I need ideas, y'all. I might wanna try it out. Possibly, could I make it for you? Drop a comment. Let me know so I can go ahead and make a video for it. I'll put it on the playlist. Yeah, so let's see where we are. All right, we almost done with this chocolate cream pudding mix, y'all. Now, when you make this, keep a quarter cup of your milk back because you, you'll need to add that in. You might not need to add in the whole quarter cup, but if you want to look like this, you'll keep that quarter cup milk back so it can look like this. And this is your chocolate cream pudding mix, y'all. Looking pretty good, y'all. So now after we make it, we need to make sure we get it wrapped up right. And then sit it in the refrigerator and let it chill, y'all. I let this chill for about a couple of hours because I wasn't in a rush. Next thing up, y'all, is the brownie part of the chocolate lovers brownie cream pie, y'all. Now the brownie mix is a standard brownie mix you can get at your local grocery store. Now, if you wanna make your brownie mix, by all means, go ahead and make your brownie mix, y'all. I've made it, and it tastes phenomenal when you make your brownie mix from scratch. My mama, my grandmama, ooh-wee, they made some brownies. It took them all day. But when they made them, they show sure went. They didn't last all day. They didn't last a day unless they guarded them. But anyway, that's a whole nother subject, y'all. So we mixing this up. You know, brownie mix is a little thick, so you have to go ahead and put your work in. But it's looking good. Don't stop. Go ahead and work it. Go ahead and get it, mix it up. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and put some walnuts in that thing too, y'all. We gotta have some nuts in there. We choosing walnuts. Walnuts are actually healthy for you. Walnuts are a superfood. So I love my pecans, y'all, or pecans, whatever you wanna say. I love them, almonds too. But walnuts are really good for you. Almonds are really good for you too but not in this dish right here. If you like them, you like them, y'all. But what we gonna do with this brownie mix, y'all? We are gonna layer it. We are gonna layer it down first, and we are gonna make sure we smooth it out and flatten it softly. We don't wanna smush it down. We wanna smooth it and flatten it. You see the way it look, y'all? And now, if you don't have a spatula, spray your spoon with some non-stick spray, y'all, and it won't stick. It won't adhere. You see that? Take a look at that. There we are. We looking good, y'all. And this is the second pie. All right? Now, we going to do two pies. Now, we going to do them a little different. But that's the set chocolate cream pudding. And we on the first pie, what we going to do is we going to get that on there. We going to layer that out. We going to smooth it out. Just how we did with the brownie mix. When we put the brownie mix in there. Try to get every angle, try to get every corner, every crack, every crevice. And then we're going to add that Cool Whip on there, too. We're going to take that Cool Whip and we're going to spread out that Cool Whip on there. Make sure that Cool Whip got that little smooth pattern on it, y'all. That's all we're looking for. We ain't looking for perfection, but we do want it to look decent. And we want to make sure we hit every corner, every crack, every crevice. Now, this is the next pie that's finished. We're going to throw this on deck. So we... Put the pudding mix down, that chocolate cream pudding mix down. And the next thing we did was phase in walnuts. That's the difference. 
So we phased in walnuts in between the chocolate cream pudding mix layers. And then we threw the Cool Whip on top of it. And then we threw some walnuts as the garnish on top of that Cool Whip to add those layers. Now take a look at what you made or what you about to make. It's worth making. And it's the chocolate lovers brownie cream pie, y'all. Mm, take a look at the layers in that, y'all. That turned out so good. Now, you don't see the one with the nuts all in it. Why? Because it's already gone. By the time we did the... I mean, it's gone, y'all. But here's a slice, though, right there for y'all. And I want to say thank y'all for tuning in. Now, if you feel like there's something I missed, let me know so we can add it to the playlist, y'all. Now, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all on the next side.